Hi, my name is Andrew Wills. I'm in my second year of aerospace engineering at the University of Liverpool and recently completed my private license at NMC Aviation. I'm now continuing my flight training having just obtained my complex endorsement. Today, I will be doing my first flight in the aerobatic, concentrating on upset, maneuver and spin recovery training. I'll be meeting my instructor, Brad Waltman, shortly completing the pre-flight briefing, check of the aircraft. The flying lesson will be in the local area surrounding Traverse City. When I first meet the instructor, we'll complete a pre-flight briefing to go through the objectives of the lesson and check the weather and any notums. Once the pre-flight is complete, we then will complete paperwork at the dispatch desk and collect the book and key for the aircraft. Before taxi, we always complete an external and internal pre-flight of the plane. During most flying lessons, time will be spent in the pattern practicing landings, including short soft hill landings, no flat landings, and emergency power out landings. Traverse City Airport is a class Delta airport, which means that it has both ground and tower air traffic control. For all the manoeuvres, the flight instructor will provide a demonstration first before passing the controls to the students to practice. Each manoeuvre has a set of standards in which it should be performed in terms of heading, altitude and airspeed. Whilst flying, and before starting any manoeuvres, we complete two 90 degree clearing turns to identify any other aircraft in the facility. Upset maneuver training enables students to recover from unusual altitudes, recognize stalls and recover from spins. The lesson also includes other maneuvers such as the roll, loop, hammerhead and successful recovery from these.
Before we return to the airport, we have to complete our descent checklist, which includes checking the weather at the airport and calling Traverse City Air Traffic Control to obtain clearance to enter the Class Delta airspace and land. In completion of the flight, a full post-flight briefing is given by the instructor, which will be a review of the flight and a study of the material for the next lesson. I've just finished my flying lesson. I've been in Traverse City for over eight weeks and it's been a really good experience. I successfully obtained my private pilot's license and I've really, really enjoyed the flying. My flight instructor, Brad, has been fantastic. He's an ex-US Air Force fighter pilot with a huge amount of experience and I've learned so much from him. All the staff and flight instructors at NMC are very professional and the training has been really well organised. In addition to getting my private pilot's license, I've also got my complex endorsement and flown the seaplane, aerobatic and multi-engine aircraft. NMC uh, also organised visits to Oshkosh, which is the largest air show in the world, and I had the amazing opportunity to fly the Aztec aircraft back across Lake Michigan, which uh, I can safely say is one of the best experiences of my life. Uh, outside training, Traverse City is an absolutely beautiful area. It's a uh, you know, summer vacation town, there's lots to do. The beaches in June is a great place to relax, and the town has lots to offer during the spare time. I was also fortunate, as Steve organised for me to stay with the host family, so I had the experience of living with the US family. It was really cool because the host family included a former f flight instructor at NMC Aviation, so I was able to fly with him too. Overall, I've had a fantastic experience. It is really wonderful to learn how to fly in this area. The training relates well to what I do in my first two years of uh, aerospace engineering at the University of Liverpool. It puts the aerodynamics theory into practice and I'd really hi highly recommend uh, for other students to come and learn how to fly here.